this snail and fish stew recipe i'm about to show you is so simple and straight to the point but yet so tasty in this pot i have some vegetable oil what i just added was onion grated ginger and garlic if you don't like ginger and garlic you can skip that part but to be honest you need to add ginger and garlic to your stews it is so good so i'm going to fry it is translucent then i'm going to add curry powder and just a pinch of thyme next is to add your tomato mix which is a mixture of tomato scotch bonnet tatashe shambo and onion Mix very well, then cover the spot and let it fry till oil floats on top. I didn't plan on framing this process because I already prepped my ingredients like two hours before I decided to film this process. So pardon me, but anything at all you feel you don't understand, ask me in the comment section and I'll reply you. So now this is how the tomato mix looks. I'm going to give this a quick mix then continue frying on low heat. If you noticed, I added some roughly blended peppers to this. You know this video won't be complete without me welcoming our first timers. If this is your first time on my page, I want to welcome you and tell you that you are in the right place. Thank you for subscribing to this channel and may God bless you. To my returning subscribers, you all know how much I love you. Thank you for making me see reasons to always drop content on my page. You are my biggest motivation and may God bless each and every one of you. You know to make the perfect stew, you, you need to be really, really patient. And to know if your stew is ready, the oil separates from the tomato mix. Another method to check is to taste and know if it has this um, sour taste. Once everything is ready, you go in with your fish stock, add some water, add seasoning and salt to this or any seasoning you prefer. Mix thoroughly and let this cook for few minutes after few minutes you notice the oil is now on top of the stew don't panic if it's too much you can take it out after cooking so i added my snail and fish that i already fried off camera i told you earlier i did not plan on filming this recipe but i'm going to do a much better video on this fish and snail stew but manage this one for now so add it up and you're going to mix thoroughly you let this cook for at least two to three minutes so that it sucks some of the sweetness from the stew after that your fish and snail stew is ready you don't even need anybody to tell you that this tasted good i paired with plantain and rice and i enjoyed thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one don't forget to subscribe bye